Every other week, we bring you OSINT news updates from around the world. Here's the OSINT news you should know about this week. A recent study released by RAND Corporation discusses the difficulties of tracking online extremism with open source intelligence. Despite the plethora of evidence available thanks to online messaging boards and social media groups, we really still don't have a lot of understanding of what radicalizes a person. While there's lots of data on social media sites about extremism, tracking someone over a long term can be difficult because accounts get booted, some are bots, they use coded language, and the report really dives into what we still don't know, despite research, how someone becomes radicalized over time. The second article we're looking at is from The Verge, and it talks about how Telegram has become a window into the war in Ukraine. Telegram is a popular messaging app in Europe and is known for its lax moderation. Thanks to the laissez-faire rules, it can be a hub for people trying to escape censorship, particularly in Russia, but it's also become a breeding ground for conspiracy theorists, disinformation, and criminal activity. A lot of imagery from the war gets uploaded, including by Russian soldiers, and some of that has been used to track locations and has even resulted in offensive attacks on behalf of the Ukraine army. Anyone conducting OSINT about Ukraine or Russia should have their eye on this app. And finally, a report from Clearance Jobs talks about the need for formalizing OSINT within the IC. Open source intelligence has gained steam within the intelligence community over the past few years, but it has yet to become a formalized intelligence practice. Some analysts believe that we need a standardized trade craft and potentially a separate agency for conducting OSINT. That's the OSINT news. If you'd like to find more OSINT news, you can find it on our website, authentic8.com blog, or sign up for our LinkedIn newsletter to get OSINT news in your inbox every other week.